We're in Hanoi, Vietnam, and this video is going to be a little bit different than our normal videos for two reasons. For one, there's no Ashley, and two, we're doing a food tour. I'm going to be trying all kinds of different traditional Vietnamese cuisines and some things that I'm not super excited about. I'm not going to lie, I'm not very excited about this. But first, we've got to get there, so let's hop on a motorbike. Come on. Hello. <laughs> Hello, nice to see you. Welcome to Hanoi Street Food Tour. And today my name is Elena and... I'm Mike. Uh, the tour today will have on water, on beer and around 8 meals with uh, some a little bit adventure, some meal inside, some meal outside. So before launching the tour for warm up the atmosphere, I would like to you bring special thing Vietnam for make you warmer in the cold weather today. It's called Happy Water. I've heard of this Happy Water. We strongly and loudly slogan in Vietnamese before you bring. Okay. It is Mo hai ba zo. Mo hai ba zo. Yeah. It means one, two, three. Bottoms up. Oh, okay. So zo is bottoms up? Yeah. Bottoms up. Cheers with others if you have someone. More. That's the best explanation I've had mm -hmm. of it so far. I tell you that the apple rice wine with apricot rice wine mm -hmm. today is a, a little bit different. But to bring a little bit with the apricot wine. Yeah, sure. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Oh wow. wow. I think I like the apricot one better. Ah, the second one. Yeah, it's very nice. It tastes a little bit sweet. Yeah, it's sweet oh. like you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sweet like you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on. Okay, so then This is going to be really fun. I hope you keep stuffing today. Yeah, okay. me too. Yeah, and use some room. Yeah, <laughs> I, I haven't eaten anything. We're good. So we're going into Old Quarter now, which is one of the most popular places to be a tourist in Vietnam. So across the street in Hanoi, just confident and walking. Yeah, you can't stop. Yeah. <laughs> you just if, gotta walk. If you wait, you can wait until tomorrow. I've actually been to this restaurant oh, before. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, it's very wow. delicious. Wow, you have pizza eating. Rice flour and water is mixed together, then put on these pans and steam. Then, they delicately pull it off with a chopstick so that they can roll it with its fillings. And this is pork, yeah? Yeah, that's the pork. And this I will put you on this okay. With first meal, I tell you, we have steamed rice roll. And to make your meal tasty, we have the sauce. It's called fish sauce. No confusing, it looks like the green tea. <laughs> no green. Okay. There's steamed rice roll with cinnamon. We eat two cup them, and they're the first kind. Uh, because fish sauce a little salty, mm -hmm. so you see something on the table look like the kitchen. Make your sauce tasty. At first, we have the coriander and basil, red chili, and you see it's quite small. It's smaller than lamb, but it's more uh, sour like lamb. It's called kum pot. So now, for make your sauce tasty, we making the sauce at first. Okay, we are squeezing the kum pot. And without seed, because seed is bitter, like that. And we squeeze it. Add the chili inside as well. Ah, okay, it's on you because it depends your level of spicy. As spicy as you can make it. <laughs> yeah, I first it a little slice, you can add more later. And besides, we have coriander. Coriander and a little basil in Vietnam. Like okay. Yeah, you get leave of them, no stem. You're missing for tasting. If you want a little more different, it look like happy water. <laughs> Is it um, garlic with vinegar okay. fermented together? And a little bit because it tastes sour like kumquat. Yeah, look like cooking glass, yeah, <laughs> guys. I'm, I'm here for it. Yeah, chopstick and then steam rice roll with cinnamon. We have cinnamon with orange color here. Oh, okay. So that makes the pork orange. Yeah, you put them in the sauce for eating. Beside, we have the uh, fried shallot. Okay. It's smaller than onion for smell good. So, what's the best way? To do this, do you want to get a little bit of everything, or do you want to eat it separately? It's very se separate. Okay. They just cut a middle already, and you dip them in sauce for eating. Okay. Okay, it's giant. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Another side. Okay, well, here we go. So we got a little bit of this pork first. We're gonna try that out. Okay, enjoy the meal. Yeah, <laughs> I wish you guys were here with me. Very good. So we're gonna dip it in the fish sauce. This is one of the things that everybody told me when we were here in Vietnam the last time was that we did not use fish sauce enough and I feel like that was a mistake because 
It's very delicious. Mm. Now I always say this wrong because I can't get the G sound before um, it would end, but non. How do you say non? Non. Okay, yeah. Nga, nga, I can. Nga, nga, nga. Yeah. Nga. I can never do it. I'm terrible. All right, now we're gonna try the bangkun itself. And this is mushroom inside, yes? Yeah, wood yeah, mushroom and pork meat. Okay, so it's wood ear mushroom, pork meat, and then we've got uh, dried shallots and dried shrimp on top. Okay. You made it perfectly spicy too. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It's very delicious. It pairs well with the mushroom and the pork inside, and then you get a little bit of the saltiness and a little bit of the crispiness from the shallots and the shrimp, and the fish sauce with the herbs and the chilies is, it's just the perfect balance. It gives you nice acidity, nice saltiness, and it really brings the whole meal together. It's so good. Bangkun is delicious. Yeah, it's salty. Besides like steamed rice roll with cinnamon, we have another style. Okay. Steamed rice roll with egg. Oh. With egg style, they also, you see, a little black and brown color. Like mm -hmm. the first style, with mushroom and pork meat, like that. Yeah. That they're rolling together. And on top, similar with shallot and rice shrimp. And for eating, you eat spoon and cutting. Like you cutting pizza and okay. dip them in sauce by spoon for eating because have the running yolk. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. It's smaller if you want, like pizza. Like pizza. Yeah. Um, so look at that. You got the runny egg inside. And what is this called? Their meat is called bang kuan chung. Bang, oh, okay, bang kuan chung, because yeah. chung is egg. Yeah. Mmm, it's very delicious. The egg makes it creamy and richer in a way. I think I prefer bangkun, but bangkun chung is something that I've never tried before. Bangkun chung is in the morning. Bangkun cha kue. Bangkun cha kue? Yeah, cha kue. Okay. Is the grilled part. pork, yeah, yeah, the barbecue pork. The okay. Cinnamon. Mm. Do you eat any of this like during the tour? I have early the alarm breakfast okay. for chucking enough energy for walking our street. <laughs> okay, so this is all me then. Yeah, we eat a lot and we walk a lot as well. I think I've signed up for something that I, did, I wasn't expecting. I'm gonna be very, very full today. Ashley, I know you're sitting at home right now. You're missing out. What is your favorite Vietnamese dish? Are we gonna try that today? Wow, secret. I will show you in the tour today. Okay, cool, I'm very excited. <laughs> yeah. We spent the rest of the meal getting to know each other a little bit better and then swapping stories. And then Elena told me that it was time for the adventurous part of the food tour. Come on. Mm -hmm. So not only am I learning about delicious food, I'm also learning how to speak Vietnamese. Top Viet is goodbye, and then how do you say see you again? Uh, het gap lai. Het gap lai. Yeah. Okay, het gap lai, yeah. top Viet. Just a little bit. I'm super bummed Ashley's not here. Now we go inside this gate. Okay. This gate is 274 years. Oh, wow. Yeah, quite a long time, and we cross that. Okay. Is this the only gate like this here? Right now, it's the only gate there. Okay. It's a long time before five gates look like that. Oh, okay. A long time it was broken, four gates and only one there. Okay, that makes sense. And next one we have it is San Guam Pancake. Oh, Chao Rui. Yeah, Chao Rui. <laughs> Chao Rui. And that's so, what this is here? Yeah, inside the pancake. This animal is sea creature, like living at Great River. Okay. Okay. And in pancake, besides sandworm, we have another ingredient. This is she frying for us, and it's quite hot when we're eating. Yeah. Really hot. Are these seasonal? Around the autumn and winter, like the weather is uh, nice with cold weather. Okay. Because in summer, really hot. Yeah, it's like that. So that is inside these pancakes. Yeah. Okay, there's a frying and you see it's quite hot. Okay. We, she's just cutting already for us and we eat by chops, uh, by steak. Okay. And there's the chili sauce. It's red color but not too much spicy, no worry. Okay. okay then. Inside pork, pork meat, dill and egg. 
The okay. egg make yellow color. Okay. Chow roy. Mmm. Yeah. This egg. Dew lips. It's very delicious. Yeah. You see dew lips from the, the cleaning. Oh yeah. Yeah, a lot of. It's really salty. It's nice and fluffy. It has a little bit of a crisp on the outside because of being fried in the hot oil. But the chili sauce is just the perfect complement to it. For something that's fried, it tastes very fresh, yeah, which I think is really fresh. nice. Fresh yeah. and balance of nutrition with dill leaves. Yeah, it's got good protein because yeah. you said there's egg, dill, pork meat, and then the sandworm. Exactly. And what is a sandworm called? Sandworm rui. Rui. Okay, so cha is cha means pork. Pancake. Oh, it's like pancake. Pancake. Like have met you hear many meals it's called cha. Yeah. Cha look like the pancake made from meat like that. Ah, okay. It's so it's like a patty. Mm, okay, yeah. that makes more sense. And then rui is the the sandworm. Sand okay, it's very delicious. Don't let the fact that it's like a sandworm scare you. Uh, because it goes a street market, so on the way many beep, beep, beep. <laughs> you look, the traffic there is quite dangerous, so we should go the right side for more safety. Okay. Mainly the motorbike. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> all kinds of noises in Vietnam, but yeah. that's part of the charm. She spent the next couple of minutes talking to local vendors in the market, trying to find the next adventurous item. I'd be lying if I said I'm excited about what the next potential adventurous dish we're gonna have is. For her and she open now, we go there for eating. Okay. Maybe dark in the egg. Oh. Okay, so this is the thing I was nervous about. <laughs> we're gonna try it. It's coming. <laughs> yeah, it's balut egg. All right, here we go. In there, they love to uh, keep the <laughs> fresh chicken and bring home for killing and process. Vâng. Con ăn ở đây. Nhanh nhanh dùng con nhá. Okay, you stand here for waiting the uh, egg they cooking. Okay. Baby duck. Inside be there, beside eating meal, you can see something right here. Uh, it's called paper money or some version called it like the fake money normally yeah. in the close to the lunar new year or some big holiday related to lunar calendar and the main release in Vietnam is Buddhist people and they're burning it for dead people oh, okay uh, raising for the holy man and some person confusing like tourists or people like foreigners go to yeah. Vietnam and see Vietnamese burning and they bring the real money with them and burning oh no. <laughs> they, no, no don't bring your real money here to burn it that's not the thing you just yeah. burn the fake money, like what we're looking at here. Bank of the afterlife. Yeah, money paper. She says, I have no egg now. She says, uh, best seller and uh, selling own. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay that's I will try. I hope for trying another uh, store. Yeah. <laughs> if not, it's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are too. But the next one are so adventurous. <laughs> we are okay. this way. <laughs> so it seems that the fates have aligned and that I don't have to try balut egg right now which maybe it's not a bad thing, but Elena says she's going to try and find me one anyways. <laughs> so she's out to get me with this one. Are you okay? I'm good. This is fermented vegetables? Yeah. Okay. And they sour. It's no wrong. The yellow thing this is, is the bamboo. Oh, okay. The baby bamboo. This sour. River snail and river crab. They're the loach. Each entry is killing its head. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've been to markets before, but nothing like this one. This is something you can only see when you get out and travel. Okay, yeah, in that day we eat, it's more intestinal pork. Oh, okay. Yeah, 
like blood sausage. Okay. Yeah, in intestine. And then the pork store. The something in the pork like the lung and the heart. Some ear. From there you see the blood with the red color. Good item in the intestine like that, really fresh. And okay. they're cooking by the pan like that. So it's going to be a sausage? Yeah, okay. the sausage. It looks like that and we eat by stick. Okay. By stick Is there a sauce? Sauce, the salty. Okay. Yeah, inside with basil, pork meat as well. Okay. And the blood for you. Okay. Yeah. Is there a sauce to put it in or just like this? Uh, just like it, you see. Basil. Beside that, the pork. Okay. Okay. And a little black there, the blood. When they're cooking. Okay. Yeah, the black color. All right. I'm not going to lie, I'm not very excited about this. But I do like sausage, so it smells just like sausage. Mm. It's actually quite good. It's got a really good flavor. The texture of the intestine on the outside is a little chewy, kind of like a bratwurst, I imagine, but the overall flavor isn't bad. Here we go again. Okay. Okay. That's I'm enough. Good. That's enough. Yeah. Come on. Come. Yeah, she's just touching. Look like busy. The next one we eat really tasty and okay. no, no adventures. <laughs> okay. Like I said, the flavor on that was actually quite good, but the chewiness of the outside, that's the part that got me pig intestine. But can't knock it till you try it. And I would definitely say try it. It's absolutely worth checking out. I'm still a little nervous about the balut egg. I'll try anything once. And now we have it is Vietnamese donuts. Okay. Uh, you see many women, they are selling donuts on yeah, the street. Yeah. And we eat in all regional stores, much better. You see they're frying here. Sugar donuts or honey donuts, we only want to eat. What's your favorite? Depend on, uh, depend on time, but normally with me, it's honey. <laughs> okay, well then we'll try honey. Okay, yeah. honey, okay. Try a mud mud, anh ạ. Oh, come on. You can shake it, there's something inside. Something shaking around in there, and I think I know what it is. Oh. Mm. That's good. Mm. It's very warm, very fresh. The inside? Green bean and coconut inside. And the rice, sticky rice flour. Okay, so it's mung bean, coconut, and sticky rice the flour. Last. Yeah, okay. the last is the honey. Not potato. It's got like potato? Isn't that strange? Is it potato? Uh, look yellow, look similar mm. totally. Mm. Mung bean. This is fantastic. It would go very well with like coffee. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. like uh, black coffee. Yeah, this is the best banzan I've ever had. <laughs> yeah. Banran, yeah. Oh, banran. Yeah. That was exactly oh, what I needed after that blood sauce. Yeah. Now we're apparently walking down Candy Street. There's lots of packaged candies all wrapped up, nicely tied away. Also dry fruit like that, like dry jacket, dry oh, banana, yeah. and potato. Walking through Old Quarter is just the best. There's so many things to look at, so many smells, so many noises, but it's just something that is so uniquely Hanoi and you can't find it anywhere else. It's like a frenetic energy that just makes me feel alive, if I'm being honest. Ellen is out here on a mission too.
What is this right here? It's for furniture, and this for fruits cannot eat. Okay. Only uh, raising on the altar for incense. Oh, okay. You see, it's shaped look like the ten finger for raising the holy. So the next one is the buncha. Ah, oh, buncha. Yeah, soup okay. and rice noodle. All right. Because it has a funny story related to Barack Obama president in your country, USA. Yeah. Anthony Bourdain brought Barack Obama to a very specific restaurant here in Hanoi to have Boon Cha. And that restaurant is super famous, very popular. You always hear about it, but it's outside of the old quarter and it would take about probably 45 minutes to walk there from where we are now. So instead of doing that, Alan is taking me to another very popular Boon Cha restaurant and yeah, I'm beyond excited right now. This is something that we didn't try the last time we were in Hanoi, and everybody was like, what? How did you go to Hanoi and not try bún cha? We just didn't think about it. Uh, okay, okay. I'll show you. I show you the baby duck before that store is closed. I have no way. And now okay. I show you that they have. Okay, so we're going to try that first? Yeah, before bún cha. Okay. okay. You tricked cha. me. <laughs> They're boiling like that. Inside with one duck. Got a little sauce. For more tasty, we have lots of leaves. And the yellow with the ginger. Okay. And you got some more beside the chili a little bit. Oh, more chili. <laughs> we can do more chili. Ah, uh, you want more? Yes, please. Yeah, because that way, maybe spicy be good. Yeah. Okay, come on. Like make you cannot remember how how about the duck inside. Just yeah. focus on spicy. <laughs> and it's hot, they just boiling, you see? Okay, I can, okay. I can make for you anyway. Okay. Alright, I feel like I've been tricked. I feel like you got me very excited for Boon Cha. And then you bring me to have this duck egg embryo. It's really hard. Yeah, they just boiling. You should try the yellow part at first. It kind of just looks like a boiled egg. You combine oh, with ginger go. and the leaf. Like that. Oh, see, only the fur and the, the eyes are black color. Yeah. yeah. And you it ate looks it. really appetizing. I'm gonna get some chili. Some of this kind of just tastes like egg. What have you gotten me to do? Get some more chili. It's very strange, but not bad. The spiciness definitely helps. Get some ginger on there. That feels like a good bite of it, yeah. Okay. Okay. In Vietnam, it's... normally they eat it like have to you when you be when you have had it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's okay. Okay. So this part's really hard, like this white part. It's very tough. Yeah, it is true. You eat this too? A or? little bit. You can uh, taste a little. Normal, I know, is this. But you can eat on anyway. Yeah. Mm, it just tastes like egg. All right. So, balut egg. It tastes kind of like boiled egg with a little bit of like chicken noodle soup almost. But the seasonings and the herbs and all of that definitely, definitely help. So, are you ready? Now we go to Boon Cha. Now we go to Boon Cha. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I definitely think the weirdest thing that I've eaten today was the pork intestine blood sausage. The balut egg wasn't that bad. It was more visually jarring than texturally or flavor jarring. Basically, if it's spicy, I can eat anything. Elena was just telling me that lots of people book the adventurous food tour, but then when they see how adventurous it actually is, they change their mind. They say, no, 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 this is too adventurous. So we're doing good. Ready? Yep. Go inside for eating. Okay. Uh, we go to upstairs. This restaurant has five floors. Oh, wow. Yeah. And we go to upstairs. This is the best boon cha? One of the best. Okay. Can you bring beer? Yeah. Uh, of course. Tell me how beer, yeah. Okay. Uh, we take the shoe outside. This time special. Mm. Okay. 
So now we are in Bun Cha Ta, and we are gonna try Bun Cha. Right now, actually. Okay, we have the rice noodle. It's signed, Hanu beer for you. <laughs> cool. Okay. Some pet veggies. And don't forget, chili. Oh, yes. Yeah, your favorite one. Yeah, my <laughs> favorite. For sure. <laughs> yeah, very fresh. And now we're waiting for the broth. They're cooking broth on top floor and bring down for us. Okay. We. Oui. So, Bun Cha is your favorite. Yeah, which I love the, the broth. It okay. tastes different with the normal soup. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's like that. Oui. Oh, yeah. Mm, it's hot so, what is the broth made of? Thank you. Come on. Uh, in the broth. Yeah, when you taste it, you see the some in, ingredient inside. A okay. little sweet, sour, okay. and salty from fish sauce as well. Okay. And now the broth still hot. We get early. The spoon to for make your broth at first for more tasty. Mm -hmm. You add the garlic and chili. I think it depends on your level of spicy mm -hmm. and garlic. And besides, we add the early herbs like that. Okay. Yeah, with the purple. Some person call it like perilla leaves. Okay. Some person call it like shisu. Besides, good for healthy. It's really good for skincare. The girls know it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, the purple color you put in your in your broth. Besides, some kind of basil. Like that. Also, the letters, small one more time. Because your broth is still hot now, deep in the side. It's the mean and not fighting. Yeah, it's normally veggies. And besides, we have chopsticks as well for eating. Like that. When you taste the broth, if you want more salty, we have fish sauce here. Okay. If you want more sour, we have vinegar and garlic more for you. Okay. <laughs> the pepper look like the, your kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I love it. It all feels like my kitchen. Yeah, you do it by yourself with chili, garlic, rice noodle as well. So this is literally the moment I've been waiting for. I am so, so excited. I'm glad that we are at Bun Cha Ta. Bun Cha Ta store. Bun Cha Ta store, which is very popular, very famous, and it's one of Elena's favorites. Yeah, and Bun Cha Tao, you see the name of the meal in the name of the restaurant, Bun Cha, because in there, just focus on this meal. Yeah, I've noticed that about Vietnam is lots of the places focus on one meal. Yeah, because they have no big kitchen or many space for cook many ingredients. So focus on from one to two and highest is three. Okay. Because like it. Big, one big meal, you only eat one meal. So yeah, it's true. Wow, really spicy. It's more spicier than the bánh cuốn. Oh yeah. And then so what's inside? Inside of the that the barbecue pork meat. Okay. So okay. this is like a grilled pork meat. So this is kind of like a patty. This is cha, yeah. Yeah, it's called cha. Okay. Okay. And beside you put the rice noodle in your broth. Okay. And then this is so pork, but it's sliced. And then so the whole idea is I take the noodles, I dip the noodles, and then I eat the noodles like that. Yeah, combine spoon and chopstick for eating. Okay. Why do they put it separate like this? Separate because they want to because one person one lovely taste. So they want to depend on your favorite taste. Oh, okay. Like the level of spicy, no big bowl, just one. Okay. Some person even no chili, okay. no spicy. And take some of these noodles. Oh wow, it is nice and sweet. So the broth is made of, you said it's got fish sauce in it already. Yeah, fish sauce, boiled water for make light taste, mm -hmm. vinegar, sweet you taste from sugar, and a little chili sauce as well. Okay, that is unlike any broth I've ever had before. It is a little bit sweet, a little bit salty, very delicious. Yeah. Get some noodles. Mm. Do you see some bread and white slice in the broth? Is it the carrot and green papaya? Oh, carrot and green papaya? Yeah. Okay. Balanced nutrition. Yeah, it's very, very good. And then so we'll get some of this sliced pork here. Get some more noodle. So we got a good bite here with the sliced pork, some noodles. We'll dip that in the broth. Mm. You can really taste like uh, like the smoke on the pork from where they grill it. It's yeah. really, really good. Yeah. For more tasty, you can combine with spoon and get with some something in the broth. Oh, okay. So yeah, like, like coffee, chili. So get a little bit of everything. Yeah, like eating fur. Like eating fur. All right. Some noodle. 
and dip into this broth. You get one of these big chilies, huh? Mm -hmm. You say they're going to be spicy because they've got the, seed, the seeds in them still. Yeah, you know, from the red part. All right, and then we'll get some broth. Mmm. It's so good. It's very complex. It's sweet, savory, smoky, spicy, salty. You got like a nice balance. Like the garlic, I think, does a really good job of balancing and bringing out the flavor. This is, I don't know how we came to Hanoi and never tried this. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Is this specifically from Hanoi? Is this like a Hanoi specialty? Yeah. Okay. It's also in some area of Vietnam normally, but uh, from the time uh, your president Barack Obama go to mm. went to Vietnam since 2016, mm -hmm. make this meal become more famous. In oh, the, really? Yeah. That's awesome. Hmm. Bun cha, so good. Oh, here, gotta have a beer. Yeah, we are in Hanoi, and we have Hanoi beer. Hanoi beer in Hanoi, yeah. and then you gotta go. Mot hai ba zo. All right, cheers. Yeah. So bun cha might very well be my favorite dish in Vietnam too. It's sweet, it's savory, it's salty, it's fun to eat. You get to build it as you're eating it. What more could you ask for? Thank you. Oh, I know what more I could ask for. Egg coffee. So as I was eating and enjoying this delicious, delicious bun cha, Elena was like, what kind of coffee would you like? Black coffee or egg coffee? How can I say no to egg coffee? Egg coffee and a condensed milk at the bottom. On top you see the egg coffee, mainly it's made from your part of the egg. Okay. And remember, it's the chicken egg. No, yes. it's duck egg. Okay. Because you see duck eggs is quite fishy because it's fresh. Okay. So when you eat chicken, it's better with the yolk and you mix a little sugar, honey, and a little bit salt. And you okay. fold my machine around three, four minutes and you put on coffee, that's enough. Yeah. It's always good to check out this like really thick, rich froth Yeah. and try that kind of on its own. It's so good. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's like, this one's very light and very foamy. It's almost like a, like a mousse. It's really, really delicious. It's not super sweet, but just sweet enough. And then once you mix it all in together, it kind of cuts the bitterness of the coffee and it'll mix with that condensed milk. This drinking, beside for like some person go, it's like for chilling with the weather or dessert or drinking, it's like many for breakfast. I see in your menu, you drink egg coffee in after your breakfast. Oh, okay. Because uh, coffee for wake up and egg for protein. So oh. it's a two in one. Vietnamese is always doing the two-in-one. It's like a little bit of this, a little bit of that, so it's balanced meal. Yeah. Sip now that it's all proper mixed up. Oh well, yeah, that is fantastic. Well, I'm stuffed. I'm very happy. It was a very fun experience. Did you have fun? Of course, uh, because it's my favorite, so I also want to show you as well. Hey, I appreciate you showing me your favorite. <laughs> All right, so I think we're going to get out of here. Do we have anything else? Or of is course. this it? We still have more. After that, we go to Ban Mi. Ban Mi is one of the most local meal besides pho in Vietnam. And I want to show him and have some style. You can choose one of them. Okay. Okay. Oh, I thought I was done with food. Safety is the first. Yeah, of uh, course. Because sometimes you can be hit with the vehicle. Four. Wow, it's so really crowded. Because this lady look like you see many ladies and yeah. people. They take the photo selfie around here. Yeah. Because this lake is a symbol for a picture of Vietnam. The red bridge and the temple. And in temple, keep the body of old turtle. Turtle okay. animal. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a real animal and uh, living a long time in this lake. Died in 2016, so they keep the body of it, like keep memories of history. Cho mình ba một người với ở trong này không? Now we're doing banh mi and we're gonna do egg and potato. I've never had egg and potato in a banh mi. 
but I'm even more excited than I was before we got here. So, this is it. I'm gonna be so full, I'm not gonna eat the rest of the day. <laughs> Seriously. I hope after today you no need more lunch. No, I don't need dinner. I can go to bed when I get home. <laughs> is this a famous banh mi place? Banh mi, yeah. one of them. Because many. Is yeah, going so there. many. They are already, but you want more spicy, cheesy for you, and the soy sauce. Okay. So, different taste. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Got on top too, she's uh, some fried shallots. Yeah, fried shallots, got some yeah. potato, potato egg, egg, sauce, this cucumber. Coriander sauce, cucumber, carrots, radish. That is a big banh mi. There we go, look at that. Mm. So good. <laughs> yeah. The potato adds a different layer to it. It's like I've had egg banh mi before. And it's always good because you got the crispy bread. It's like crispy outside, soft inside. But this one, you get two different elements. You get the egg, which is just really nice and savory. But then you've got crispiness from the fried shallots. And then the potato adds a really hardiness to the dish. So if I wasn't full before, which I was, I'm definitely going to be full now because this is so much food. Uh, the vegetables are super, super crisp, very fresh, and the sauce is awesome. It's got a really nice savory sauce and a little bit of chili sauce. Adds a little sweetness, a little heat. This is a good banh mi. Mm. Wow. With this option for normally for favorite, no, favorite one, also yeah. vegetarian, really lovely. This one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no meat. It's so good. The, the fried shallots really kind of changed the game here. This is unlike any other banh mi I've ever had. It's very, very good. You have to check it out. Banh mi poco. So now, Elena is taking me for dessert, which I imagine is the last stop, yeah? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> which is probably good because I'm feeling quite fat, quite beow. Beow. Which means fat in Vietnamese. Yeah. This has been really fun. I really appreciate you walking me around and showing me all this food and talking about yeah. your favorites and I motorbikes also, and everything. I also have many funny stories from you. <laughs> like the cuisine, like the, your experiences. All kinds of funny stories. So appreciate about it. Cool. Now we go inside there for each dessert. Okay. Oh, okay. So what? Let's go there. Quite special because it's family store. Okay. This I bought for you. Okay, thank you. The littlest stools. <laughs> so what dessert are we having? It is the ice cream with okay. sticky rice. Oh. And a little coconut. Oh. Okay. So I have the sticky rice, so some person call it look like a meal. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You look very fancy. Yeah. How do you say beautiful in Vietnamese? Rat right. sing deb. Okay. Sing deb for women. Rat right. sing deb. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. She's so happy until Lunar New Year. Oh, yeah? <laughs> she said she said I will happy in the Lunar New Year from your oh. uh, right. sing deb. That's good. Rat right. sing deb. Look at that. Okay. Is she on top with the shape look like noodle? Is it fresh coconut? Brown color is dry coconut and sticky rice at bottom with the green color. Oh, what makes it green? Original sticky rice with white color, but now you see green because colorful from pandan leaves. Okay. Uh, it looks like the pineapple leaf. It's so good. Mm. Soft and uh, crunchy. Yeah. It's all the textures. You've got chewy, you've got creamy, you've got crunchy, everything. And coconut is the best ice cream flavor there is. Mm. I'm talking to you, Ashley, right now when I say that you were missing out. This has been a fantastic tour, and this is the absolute best way to end it. All right, I'm gonna finish this ice cream, and then we'll get back to you. This dessert also the last meal in the tour today. I hope all meals in the tour today chugging enough energy for you. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely enough energy. Like the Vietnamese, I'm gonna go home and take a big, big nap. So which meal do you prefer or what's your favorite meal in the tour today you remember? 
I think my favorite meal was bun cha. Bun cha, yeah, that's my favorite for sure. too. I would say dessert, but I feel like that's maybe like a little bit of a cop out. With me three hours, it's not only the food, it's not only the cuisine, also some experiences and funny story we're sharing together, yeah. and also the culture and people in Vietnam as well. Yeah, yeah so for welcome. Sure. Yeah, it's awesome. So hands down, cannot recommend enough. If you are in Hanoi, you have to do Hanoi street food tours and. If you're lucky enough to get Elena as a tour guide, you will have an amazing time. She's absolutely hilarious. We had a great time swapping stories and I learned a lot. I learned how to say some words. Uh, she corrected some of my pronunciation that I didn't quite have nailed down. Still can't say nom. Ngon. Ngon. Ngon, N-G-O-N. Yeah, still can't say it. I couldn't think of a better way to learn about the culture and the food here in Hanoi. I couldn't think of a better person to spend the morning with either, so thank okay. you so much. Nice to see you yeah. too. Do not eat before you come on this tour, otherwise you will not have a good time. Yeah. I am now, I'm good. I don't need to have dinner at all. So if you like this video, go ahead and drop it a thumbs up down below. If you're new here, hello, subscribe. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Nice to see you. Put yeah. the thumbs up. Let us know what you think your favorite dish would be down in the comments. Okay, yeah. See you, see later. you again. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, awesome.